Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another Knife of the Day, the series where I go through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. We're making our way through the Chris Reeve collection, Browse Blade collection, and my uh, Microtech automatic out the front collection. Today, the knife of the day is a beast. It's a beast. It's the Microtech Combat Trudone. Now, um, <laughs> this is the Big Daddy Trudone, the Combat Trudone. There also is just the plain Trudone, which is a lot smaller. Uh, I'll go over that when we get to it in this collection uh, later on this year or later on. <laughs> I'm recording this at the end on uh, December 28th, 2017. So actually later on next year. <laughs> um, but man, this is a beast. I just had to have it. So let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, I went all out. Now, when you get a Combat Trudone, there are a lot of options, just like a lot of the Microtech uh, double action out the fronts or a lot of the Microtechs in general, you have a lot of options. You can have a, um, uh, a drop point. You could have whatever kind of um, blade that you want. But I figured since you're gonna do combat and all kinds of different colors for the scales, uh, the handle, etc., and also a number of blade steels, now, I happen to get LMAX blade steel, uh, most of my out the fronts. Those were the only ones that they had at the time. I think I got most of these from Blade HQ. Um, but I figured, look, it's a big knife. And at the end of this, we'll compare it with the um, Spyderco Military and the Chris Reeve Umnumzan so that you can see uh, the differences. Uh, <laughs> it's so big that there were a lot of options for me, but I figured since it's going to be a combat Trudone, I want this as tactical as possible. So I made sure that I got the tan camel, the urban camel for both the blade and the handle. I also made sure that I got, um, the double edge dagger. And in this case, both of them have sharp edges. Both sides have sharp edges. So, so I did not cut back on <laughs> the, <laughs> the tactical. I went all out for it. I really did. And let me tell you, that's a beast of a blade, a nasty blade. When you look at the dagger and sharp as you know what on both sides. It is a nasty blade. It really is. With a fuller in the middle, kind of first for the looks of it, the other is to cut down a little bit on the weight of the blade. Uh, but most of it's designed, but this is nasty. LMAX steel, very good steel. 3.8 inches for this blade. That's from the tip to the bottom down here. 3.8 inches on the blade, 9.5 inches total for this knife. I'll tell you, it is a big knife, and we'll talk about the handle, but it's thinner. Um, it's thin. It feels great in the hand. On the Trudones, they have the grips on the face of the aluminum body as well as on the edge, like most of the out the fronts um, from Microtech. You usually don't have the nice edge, I mean the nice um, jimping on the scales, on the show side and on the back side. Just a real nice place to grip it. It feels great in the hand. It really does. Flat ground and the weight is 5.3 ounces. So it's a knife, you know it's there. It feels good in the hand. And again, I made it very tactical. 
in the looks of it, in the blade choice, and I'm just really happy with it. 4.3 ounces. The handle is aluminum. Of course, when I talk about automatic uh, double action, both the push it out, that's the first action, and to bring it back in, all with this trigger right here. Actually, for a knife this size, a lot of the Microtechs um, have a, you know, um, they're, they're stiff, the trigger, especially when you're pulling it back in. This one is really nice. I have to tell you, the smaller size, and I'm biased towards the smaller size. I say that all the time. And when you see the Trudone, not the Combat Trudone, the little brother of this knife, it has become one of my favorite knives. Uh, it's just that great like three inch uh, spot. It's just a real nice smooth operating knife. Um, so we'll show you that as we go through this collection. It does like all of these out the fronts from Microtech. It has a glass breaker. And this is the newer glass breaker which I'm real happy about. It has that ball bearing on the tip. Still real functional, but it doesn't stab you as you go into your pocket. I have to say, I've carried this, but it's been on the front seat of my car, <laughs> you know, or thrown into, you know, a coat, uh, a winter coat jacket just because I felt comfortable with it there. Because this is a big son of a gun. The clip, very functional clips. You know, for me, and I love my Microtech out the fronts, and you'll see that, I really do. Uh, but for me, the clips are serviceable. You know, they're nothing to write home about um, in both the looks and the function. The function works great. It's just not all that special. This is a right hand or left hand. You can move the clip either way, right or left handed. Just a beast of a knife i got the small trudone first and then i don't know if you collect knives if you love knives or you collect books comic books whatever you collect you know when you get that thing and it happens to me way too often uh which is why my bank account is where it is <laughs> why i have to work so hard to get paid uh to spend more on knives I just couldn't get this out of my head. I just couldn't. Uh, so very happy with this. And I'm happy with the choices that I made on the one that I bought. If you're going to go big and you're going to get something called the Combat Trudeau, the Combat Trudeau, you might as well go for it. And I think that nasty, nasty blade is a beast of a knife. I told you what I'd do is compare it to the Umnumzun, the, the Chris Reeve Umnumzun, to give you a feel for the size of it. It's a big knife. And of course, the Spyderco military, just big, hefty knives. But I'll tell you, the, um, the Combat Trudon really handles well. It really does because it's a little thinner in shape. There you have it. That's the knife of the day. Yeah. Today we went through the Microtech out the front automatic collection. We're going through three collections now. We're going through the Chris Reeve collection, all part of my bigger collection. The Chris Reeve collection, the Microtech Ultra, uh, the Microtech, sorry, Microtech Out the Front Collection, and of course the Brow Spray Collection. Go check out the playlist. All the knives of the day are happening. We've been doing this for uh, 245 days or so, a little over 245 days. Monday through Friday, right before I run off to work. And man, is it getting chilly outside on the East Coast. <laughs> I hope you guys keep warm, keep safe, keep your friends and family close to you, and keep those pockets full. You have a perfect day. Goodbye.